to AJ's Table Time. It is Joe and Jay, and we are back again. As you can see, I got the overhead cam set up. Look at this bad boy. I can point stuff out. There is Jay's Force. Here is my Force. Today, we will be playing one of our favorite games. We're going to be playing Saga. The Saga from continues. Ripping Beast. And they, this particular one, Saga, covers a ton of different eras. Yeah. This one is the Age of Vikings. I freaking love Vikings. I've been watching a lot of the shows lately, so I'm very excited to play. And uh, what makes this unique, Jay, is what? This the battle boards. Battle, the battle board. boards. The main mechanic of this game is battle so, boards. When you buy the rule book, you get all these really sweet boards. Look at this. Vikings, Norse Gale, Irish, Welsh, Scots, the last Romans, uh, Anglo Saxons, Anglo Danes. So a lot of really cool historical context here. Yeah. Um, I also love that they show you approximately where they were in the world. Yeah, right? I love that map. That's So if you look cool. here, Jay today is playing the Norse Gales. So the Northern Islands is where he's from. Yeah. And he's coming down here, or I'm going up there because I'm the Anglo-Danes. I'm kind of in the central, and he's like the Northerners mm-hmm. while I'm the central guys. Um, and we're going to do some battle here in the 1000 ad's time period both sort of uh viking heritages here and um let's just let's just get started let's yeah. oh, first um tell me uh what what you're fielding today today i have so like you said north scale uh i have we're doing six point armies i have three units of let's start here oh, okay so right here i have um Three units of Hearthguard, which I split into two units of six, because normally Hearthguard come in uh, fours. So I got two units of six Hearthguard, my Warlord, some uh, Warriors with Pikes. um, Javelins? uh, Javelins, that's right. Uh, Javelin, not Pikes. Pikes are a lot longer. Uh, Warriors with Pikes are Javelins. That's what I meant. (laughs) Warriors with Javelins and another unit of Warriors with Javelins. And who's up in there? Warriors with War- Javelins? Yeah, Warriors with Javelins. That's, okay. all, I, that's all I brought. Is so this is a Javelin-heavy army, so this these guys uh, can, can fire. Yeah, and my uh, my Hearthguard all have heavy weapons, so they all have Ooh. two-handed weapons. Now, what do heavy weapons do for you? So heavy weapons take down your armor, but also take down my armor as okay. well. So a little glass cannon kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, now I will show you my army. I'm unsure if I can get this camera to whip around here like this. Oh, I can't. Mm-hmm. Cool. So I've got 12 levies of uh, bowmen. Uh, levies are, you know, they're they're your rabble. They're not very good. <laughs> but uh, I got them. Uh, you got, I got eight unit, uh, an, um, eight men warrior unit, another eight men warrior unit, just with some normal weapons. Uh, way down here. I've got another warrior unit with normal weapons. Here is my warlord. This is Angry Viking Joe. He's back. Um, And I have my most powerful (laughs) unit is way down here uh, with the banner. This is uh, my hearth guard. It's two hearth guard units combined into one. So eight hearth guard units. but one of them is a banner. We're trying out the banner mechanic. So He's trying out the banner I'm trying mechanic. out the banner mechanic. Uh, and so these are the Anglo-Danes. Danes, yeah. um, and I really like the series uh, The Last Kingdom. I like the book series more than the Netflix. I've said this before, but... Yeah. Um, and they fought a lot of Danes. And, they, you know, so it's the kind of the Danes versus the uh, Saxons. Um so I'm the Danes. He's not the Saxons, but he is uh, from the north, the Norse Gale. So, yeah. uh, Jay, tell us, how do we win? Okay, so the scenario we're doing is called target. We uh, both have predetermined a unit. Uh, that unit scores um, double the points of if they are killed. So um, 
normally a hearth guard unit would be one point um and because we both picked our hearth, our big hearth guard units they are two points per um, so the uh the um i'll call them vips are right over here if i kill these guys yeah. they're worth two instead of one right and he picked my big unit of uh, eight hearth guard uh, over here i thought that they were over here no you no. picked these guys I th but I thought they were over here. Well, that's fine. I I did pick those guys, but I thought they were over here. No, that's good. Yeah. So those are warriors. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, and what's next? All right, that's it. Um, next thing we do is we start off, and because... The weather, Jay. Yeah. The weather. The weather. Um, the, special, the special rule for this scenario, we had fog. So fog stays around for three turns. Um, you cannot do any shooting unless you are within M. So the fog rolls into the battlefield. Unfortunately, the only uh, person that's going to screw over is me. Yeah. Uh, all javelins fire at that range anyway, so he doesn't care. My bowman would have fired at this range. His right. army's just outside of it, but I just need to move forward and start firing. Unfortunately, the fog is making that yep. difficult, that's so true. I get screwed at right out the gate. But you know what? Sometimes that happens, and these armies of old uh, had to deal with uh, changing battlefield conditions. Yeah, that's right. So we'll see whether uh, the uh, Anglo Danes can figure things out. Yeah, and that uh, that that rounds up uh, the actual scenario. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and begin. This game kind of centers around this cool battle board. So right now I only have three dice, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll these three dice, like so, and it just so happens I got nothing but axes. So that's probably not <laughs> a very good roll because you want a variety of faces. Right. Uh, for example, this one is your uh, rare face. Uh, these allow you to do kind of the more powerful things. I think um, the, let's see, the axe is the common I think the horsey is the uncommon, and the uh, helm is the rare for yeah. me. So I rolled three axes, so a very bad opening roll, unfortunately. So I've decided to put one in elites so that I may activate one unit of elites in the upcoming turn. And then I'm going to place two axes into shield wall. Shield wall is an, uh, an ability that helps with my defense because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of javelins coming at me, right? Um, and it's very thematic because in the Last Kingdom books, the shield wall was uh, fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. We'll see if it's any good in this game. So I'm really limited. The fog is screwing my bowmen. Um, I'm only getting one unit to activate and just relying on one special ability. So let's see if that's enough uh, for uh, turn one. Now, a uh, there's another mechanic in this game called fatigue. Mm -hmm. So when your guys do, ex you know, sort of um, do some extraneous things, they can acquire a fatigue token. Right. But simply moving is not going to give them that you know, fatigue. It's after subsequent activations in that same turn okay so you get that one activation you're good you get that one activation for free yep. now uh in this game the warlord which is right here has an ability uh called we obey yep uh we obey refers to his troops right and he can say hey i'm redbeard move out boys and he gets a they get a free activation, activation. yep um, where I don't have to spend the dice, and thank God, because I have no more dice up here to spend. So, let's go ahead and take that free activation with these warriors here. Now, because the warriors are in the forest... They're going to go short. Right, so right flank is advancing. Uh, Anglo-Danes move forward. The warlord... Red, good old Redbeard has yet another special ability called Determination. Determination, which allows him to move himself for free. One activation. Because yeah. he's so badass. Or it gives him an activation, right. which I am using to, to move. Right. move. Okay. So he's uh, actually, I'm going yeah, to get him out completely of the yeah, out. There you go. Okay. Uh, the Anglo Danes, uh, warlords, 
leaders in the Anglo-Danish actually led from the front and partook in battle. I don't know so how true that is, but... Uh, I believe it's true, <laughs> and I 100% believe it's true. So that's what I'm going to try to be simulating, or at least walking, and then I'll let my dudes do the do the work. Do the heavy lifting. Yeah. yeah. Now I would continue activating, but I'm out of activations. Yep. Um, I do have this, uh, which is a reaction. Uh, it's a melee or shooting reaction, mm -hmm. so you can kind of keep dice on your board in anticipation of what your opponent is going to do. We're going to activate this unit. I'm going to pull back a little bit. Oh, the cowardly Norse gales. What? How dare you retreat from our advance? Are you not? Does Viking blood not run through your veins? Hey, we're, we're simple farmers here. We came, came up here to settle. Farmers <laughs> with <laughs> Danish axes? <laughs> I think yeah, not, coward. It's for, it's for cutting wood, man. Next time I'm going to dress up, Jad, and be in full fucking yeah. Viking outfit. Right. When I'm going to make Jay dress up, nah, too. I, I don't do that. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. I don't do that. <laughs> All right. You, I bet you you oh. try it once, and you'll be like, oh, I am now a cosplayer. Right. You'll enjoy it so much, Jay. Okay. Um, <laughs> that's it for me. Okay. That's it. I'm done. Turn one is over. It is. So uh, I'm going to monitor it with his D6. So we move on to turn two. So six, six dice. Long. So yeah. that's basically all the remaining dice. You always have eight dice. When you buy a pack of dice, it's eight dice. That's all you need. That's all you get. So uh, now we just roll all these dice and we see what we get. We're hoping for. I got to rename my buttons here because I'm getting confused. Uh, we're hoping to see some helms because uh, they're wilds and, it, and we want a bunch of axes. Or actually, that won't help me on this. See, I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. Uh, not a single fucking helm. <laughs> That's not a good rule. Oh, Freak. Uh, we did get some horsies today. Um, and four axes. So four uncommon, or four commons and two uncommons, not a good roll. Not a good roll. But that's okay, because the Anglo Danes, <laughs> yeah, uh, the exactly. reason why I picked the Anglo Danes when I looked at the boards is I thought that I was going to roll poorly today. And they have an ability called Noble Lineage. And what Noble Lineage does is it allows me to, to change the dice to a face that activate. I activate. Uh, let's put one in my elites so I can activate my elites again because you seem to be Skull. retreating. Skull! Come, coward! Fight! Uh, I don't know. I need training. Swedish chef. Dorby, 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 dorby. Yeah, there you go. Come to me. Let us fight. Yes, Bring your axe. Foos. Roll. Da. So, I'm going to use the uh, determin determination. We must obey. No, no, no. no. I'm going to use the dice for that. So the activation is to move out. Yes, they come. All right. There you go. Pepper here. What? So. Uh, with my ability shield wall okay and that will take I need fours to block shots now I need threes to block shots correct oh okay. so six okay. dice needing fours fives fours fours your warriors uh, three three hits here come the javelins boom, boom, boom. And boom. you save on threes so, normally I would save on fours, but Correct. because my men saw those javelins coming, shield, whoa, threes. Ooh, there's a one. Bad roll. Nice. Man, I thought I got all those ones out of my system. I did not. Two deaths. Plus. 
idiots did not bring up their shields in time. They deserve to die. Rest in Valhalla. The determination. Bum, bum, bum. So that was this one. Oh, no, no. That was determination. Yep. Now I'm going to burn this activation to charge you guys. Oh, we're going to uh, use our dice for like a rock. What's that? Like a rock or melee reaction. You may reroll any defense dice you wish. Uh, we are going to close ranks. What? Let me see that. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Close ranks. Right. Form shield wall. All right, so... So I'm gonna use this uh, spilt blood. This one says, I'm gonna use this one. It says Norse. And now I'm gonna use another one. It says Clinch Fist. That is basically Jay's entire board. Yeah. He had to yeah. use his entire board and all of the and combos that his brain can come up with. And I had to do it in a specific order because and all my darts were there and I didn't have any pull. So Jay's going full power on me. I have. I have to. I think I he's have, worried. I have to. All right, um, full power. Let's go. Uh. So a little, little janky trying to figure it all out, but yeah. once you get it in your head, I guess we're going. We're good. All right. So I hit you that many times. That's a really good hit. Those are a really good roll. Eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I, I predicted Plus two. would hit me Plus nine. two more because of the... Um, uh, so you hit me ten two. times. Yeah. Ten times. And now I've got to roll fours. I got Damn. a good amount of fours. Yeah. I failed uh, five times. Yeah. But you can reroll uh, those. But I can reroll these from like a rock. Yeah. How many guys do I have in my unit? Six. Six. So no matter what, the guy will be alive. One guy at least. One guy will be alive. But we're going to make it all guys are alive. Nope. Fuck. So three guys three go down. That's not bad. That's not bad. Shit. Damn. So I lost that combat. Both fatigued. You go back short. These guys are three. So determination is... Uh, game three dice, either attack or defense, or a mix of the two. Uh -huh. So, um, so I could have gained three more dice to roll, well, and I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna spend that dice because I was busy learning. Yeah, all that's fine. So these guys might survive. I lost two. So yeah, yeah I lost three, three guys. Yeah, okay, three. so I might be able to get these guys to survive. Yeah, here we go. No. I failed all those rolls, but I still have that re-roll from like a rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. <sighs> all that it one, did one is guy. resulted in one guy, saving one guy's life. Yeah, that's right. I was hoping for saving more guys' lives. Okay, that is the end of turn two. Okay, top of, or that okay, so that was top of thir turn three, but first turn summary. Yeah. Turn summary is um, on my move. I once again advanced forward, chasing down the uh, Norse Gales. Um, no fighting, no shooting, because there's fog all around. And my normally I would have been able to shoot, but right. the stupid fog. Next, uh, during your turn, I you just kind of backed up a little backed bit. Backed up a little bit, but then actually charged w or moved up with a group of warriors, warriors. fired off some javelins yeah. into a single warrior unit, and then the hearth guard followed up. So very well, good use of combined arms. The hearth guard smashed into my warriors, and yeah. Jay used every single every. <laughs> combination yeah. that he possibly could. He's going boss mode on me, guys. And he managed to kill uh, three of my war my warriors. Two, fell, two, warriors. two warriors yeah. fell back. I had to use pretty much every single defensive ability in my arsenal, and I retreated to right there. So uh, let us continue. Top, Top of turn of three. Turn I got it locked in. 
All right. Here we go. Oh, man. That's the, that's the longest part of the game. But you know what? It is a part of the game. Because yeah. then the next part of the game goes much quicker uh, when, you're, when you're doing things. Yeah, so, top of turn three, uh, the Anglo Danes are taking their. The Dana turn. Danes. So, we'll go with. All right. We're going to move these guys forward. Let us swing swords. Okay, so yes. fives and threes. Fives and threes. Yeah. All right. You want to go first? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Four. Four. Four hits on me. Let's see how many get on you. Threes, baby. Let's go. One. Oh, I see a lot of two. No, I only see two twos. So four. Ouch. Eight. <laughs> ten hits. Right. Ten to three. Right. So we both need fives. Okay. Ten hits. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, shit. Look at that. What? There's your fucking six, six, six. Yeah. But that's all you that's got. All I got. Two guys. Six guys six die. Guys. Yeah. All right. I need fives. Uh-oh. Two guys are dead. Three guys are dead. I'll Darn it. I'll take it. I don't have a single I'll save. take anything. Yeah. So that was the We Must Obey. I still have a determination yeah. uh, left. Yeah. And that's actually good because I will, if I charge with warlords. You can't charge them. God darn it. <laughs> that I mean, that would <laughs> fucking obliterate you. No wonder you did that. Okay. Well, I'm still going to move him because okay. it's uh, for free. Now, question mm -hmm. is, um, he just needs to be within what range of another unit to pa to give them kills? Short. Short. So the Warlord will is very survivable, uh, guys, because he it, when he takes wounds, he can pass it to any unit within short um, before he starts taking the wounds himself. And a warlord can take th three to basically two wounds. Basically two wounds. The third one would kill him. Right. So that's why you want to keep some troops around him. All right, let's watch the master do it. So, Chad, I think of this game as like a planning phase and then an activation phase. Because you got to give your opponent time uh, because this is where everything happens you know yeah. like in uh what is it robot mayhem where you like pre-program your robot moves and then they all move out kind of what it's like he's going back right. and forth guys he doesn't know what there you go okay so i'll do my orders first and get this one so he's spending uh activation pool to <sighs> reroll does not get any rares uh, i didn't even get any regulars either uh he got common uh yeah all right, so he charged with Charge. his hearth guard. Boom, here. All right, well, then I'm firing off my reaction. Order. I'm getting nervous, so I'm going to <laughs> uh, do shield wall right now to okay. increase my armor by one. Yep, so, so you're going to save on fours instead of fives. Right. Three hits. All right. So many threes. Yeah, somewhat booty roll. No, that's actually a pretty good roll. Average, average, average. Okay, so ah, five, five, two, seven, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Eight. All right. eight. So you need fours. I need fives. Not a one. Two dead on you. Fours, baby, let's go. Yeah! What the fuck? Woohoo! Only a single death. Well, you get we to reroll that, remember? Oh, that's right. Plus, I spent my fucking like a rock. Thank you. You yeah. are a scholar and a gentleman, sir. It's all good, man. Nah, he still dies. So, since you lose. I'll trade I one. one. I'll trade one warrior for two Hearthguard. They are in retreat! Yes! Angry Vikings! 
Let's go. All right. My within range to your warlord. Which I did not want to be in range to your warlord. So in this case, because I am in range to your warlord, I have to go towards your warlord. I Whoa, cannot cool. charge somebody else. You are also a gentleman and scholar. Yeah, I should not have told you that, but no. It's, uh, okay, no, you're playing the right way, Jay, and I appreciate uh, that. So um, what is that why? Tell us why. Because uh, one of their special rule is called pride, and if they are so in I'm range. So I'm taunting you. Yeah, if they're in range <laughs> of one another, they have Did to go towards each other. Did you train your hearth god yourself? Pathetic! Yeah. Yeah. Show me the uh, real J. But prior to that, I'm going to do my determination on them so they'll rest. So I'm going to take that down one, and then I'm going to go in. That's it. Fuck it. Let's do it. Okay. And it's, it's going to be straight up, really. Straight up brawl. Straight up. Straight up roll. So eight on eight. Eight on eight. Both needing Let's five. see. Let's see. Can Angry Joe Son win a straight up fight? He challenged Jay. Yeah. Good. No! <laughs> not a good roll at all. Only two hits what? from eight dice. Uh-oh. Yeah. Angry Joseph trips right before. Oh, shit. I only got and one. And so does Jay. Jay, tri he, Jay trips even worse on his face and gets one. One. Um, shit, we got... No, I didn't save. So I got to take two. And I got to save those two. What is it? Fives. Or save one. Save one, yeah. Five. Five. Fives. Let's save this. I got up before you, and I saved. Oh, I blocked with my shield. Mofo. Um, yes. And everybody's gone. Everybody's gone. So fatigues are essentially wounds, everybody, if you're wondering. So kind of, this yeah, kind of takes. He gets two wounds. He takes one more. He dies. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can have three fatigue total. But because oh. of the battle, that's why you can only take two fatigue. Because of the battle, I'll gain three fatigue. You'll gain so one. So, question. Whatever. When you're exhausted, what is there any bonus rules here? So, all my my dice rolls in combat are uh, negative one. Okay. I'm also say, saying this for the benefit yeah, of chat. Yeah, yeah. I knew that, but I'm just, you know. Yeah, no, that's cool. All right. But, yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, moving into turn four. We're rolling these, and we're hoping for some helms. We have not rolled a single helm. We've had to noble lineage. My father was a lord. All right, and they finally come in droves. Three helms, baby. So now I've got a plethora of uh, options. Plethora or plethora? Plethora. <laughs> what is a plethora? A plethora. Um, I will put one into the pool activation, which is this cool little thing that fires off and brings these two into play. You always want to do that because you could potentially roll more helms. Yeah. Let's get two helms. We got one helm. We got one helm and one uncommon. That worked out real nice. So we're back to three helms. Uh, so let's figure out what we're going to do. Ooh, we can use this really cool one. This is why you play the Anglo-Danes for this thing called exhaustion. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to fire that off. Cool, cool. Okay, I'm locked in. Um, this is my board. One in the Fjord, one in Intimidation, one in the Shield Wall, one into the cool exhaustion. I was hoping to use that this game. One of the reasons why I bought this board or brought it. Uh, then I got Shock. Um... So, and get those guys. Let's uh, let's do that. So with what's this called? Uh, we must obey. Yeah. These guys are coming there. He's still within range, so we're good there. Oh, first, first, before this, we do the cool one that I've always wanted to do, which is uh, exhaustion. So okay. read that. So that takes two rares, which is ridiculously expensive. So this is a big boy power. And what that says is choose three units. Each one suffers a fatigue. Mm. So, so 
So uh, we want to give your hearth guard a token, and then we want to give these guys a token for sure, since we're about to charge, or since we're charging in on them this okay. turn. <laughs> And then we want to give uh, yeah, the, hearth the hearth guard. That's a unit of four. Hearth guards can be deadly. Uh, wow, that's huge. So your guys are tired. Yeah. Um, we ain't do shit. I don't know why we're tired. So here comes the attack here of eight guys yep. flanking you, yep, yep. trying to save my archers. Cool. Not, uh, yeah, which is straight up. Straight up? Straight up. All All right. Right. Oh, so wait, no. Uh, I could spend this. Yeah. So I'm spending that. Okay. Uh, and you're lowering your armor from four. Three to two. Oh, uh, no, they're raising my armor. Okay. So you're a four, I need fives, and you need threes. All right. Got you twice. Uh, missed three times, got you five times. Ouch. I did not save anything. All right, so two did two there. Dead. And two saves, so three did there. Ooh, I just barely won that combat. Two to three. Yes, all across the battlefield. Joe's Vikings. Oh, am I going to get a victory on Jay? This is amazing. <laughs> okay. If you think so. I don't think it's amazing. It is amazing. I love the fucking Anglo Danes. Okay. I would uh, say. I wait. like them much better than that. Fa well, that faction takes more skill to yeah, use. Yeah, it does. It does. It's that you finesse. have to I mean, know what you're doing. This this uh, this is more friendly to me. It is, be and they, they, they're very defensive. So yeah, it's not good against an overly guys. aggressive yeah. faction. Okay. Um, we're going to use on my board yeah. here. Get it over with. Shock. Which is uh, charging into you. I feel like you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you whooped my ass last Sunday. So this yeah. is revenge. Yeah, he, I'll let you have it. <laughs> let me have it. Ugh. I earned this, my man. No, you didn't. Yes, I fucking I did. did. How dare you? I did. You dumb Danes with your stupid... <laughs> Stupid, uh... Jay is mad. Jay is mad. Stupid. Jay, tell me I how -roll many everything. dice do I roll against you? Yeah, okay. It's in a unit of eight hearth guard, which hearth well, guards seven roll hearth two guard dice. Because you have the banner. True. Seven hearth guards, so that's 14 dice. Uh, right? Because yeah, each yeah, hearth yeah. guard gets yeah, two. Yeah, each hearth guard gets yeah. two. Let me make sure I've got 14. One. Yeah, uh, definitely. So right. I'm going to lower your armor, okay. and I'm going to raise my armor. Okay, so <laughs> fuck. I'm hitting you off like you have sixes, and you're hitting me on threes, threes. because I have Dane. Oh, actually, I'm hitting you on five still. I'm hitting you on five. So. Hearthguard, I thought, start with five. Yeah, but I have heavy weapons. Heavy weapons. Okay. So, they go. Yeah, so fives. Five. Oh, my God, Jay. Ooh, not bad. That's the worst roll I've ever had. Uh, you might actually I'm win this combat. You. Damn, I got four. Ugh, that was, that was pretty yucky. You got four? Guess yeah. how many I got? Huh? Four. <laughs> That's nice. Does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? That means we see who dies. All right, so it's whoever dies. Yeah. So we're both still at fives. I didn't, I didn't get a single one. one. We, bo we <laughs> both <laughs> fucking just slammed into each other. That was just a straight up trade. And then we are locked. One. So we stay two, there. Three, four. Nope, I took one too many. Do you want to use the fatigues? Uh, uh, yes, of course. So are you going to use my fatigue to cancel? Well, oh, I got to tell you first. Yeah. Uh, lowering your armor from. Uh, what are warriors? Five. Five. They're five. Just like her car. Four. To four. I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm going to. I'll take yours down to four, too. Okay. I'm going to take yours down to uh, three. Okay. And then I'm going to take my armor from four to five. Okay. So hitting you on I'm fives. threes, you're on fives. Yeah. And I needed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Five hits. I, 
Hey, this these dice are not weighted because this is some <laughs> shit rolls. I hit you, you got one, one? Time. one time. Okay, that motherfucker's dead. Five, five, and five. You said five. Five, five hits. Oh. <laughs> Angry Joe. <laughs> you blocked them all but one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe they are weighted. I don't know. I say it four fucking times. Wow. And you took one. And I, yeah, you took one and I took one. Yeah. So what do we do? It's, okay, so it's, I can, I can pull one off of here mm -hmm. or I take a fatigue. Mm -hmm. Same thing with you. Um, who, who has to choose first? I don't care. I'll take a fatigue. I need to keep my dudes. I don't have that many. So this, these are four and these are four. If yeah. they go down one, they lose the dice? Yep. So I can't do that over there. You uh, can take one are, of those. These are because four. It'll be the Perf same. Guard, yeah. right? Um, this banner hasn't done shit for me. I should have never brought him. I don't think. I don't think he. Yeah, he I doesn't count as a dude. It does. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. yeah. I, I sure. can read it for sure, you. Sure, if you sure, want. sure, sure, sure. Until the end of the turn, each time your opponent uses a fatigue from one of your units, roll a saga dice and place it in your combat bonus. Mm. Move over here. I'm doing the intimidation. Okay. Because that's the first unit you're activating. Yes? Yeah. All right, then I'll leave that there. Um, all right, so four dice needing fours. One, two. Two hits. And fours to save. Walking on fours. Those are bad rolls. That's, that's what I needed. Common. Uh, that's what I needed. Funk, funk. I just lost a die. Yes, you did. All right. Let's ro resolve that uh, warlord battle. It's still one on one. Jay can actually make a comeback on that warlord battle. All right. Uh, fucking, let's kill your goddamn warlord. We're gonna use it and bring you down. Down. Okay. So four. Hold on. So I'm hitting on fives, you're hitting on fours. Yep. Oh my god. Four Warlord hits. doesn't want to do nothing. I hit once. Okay, I got you four times. And or both on fives. So on five. Ooh. I might have to Blocked! <laughs> <laughs> Angry Joe son shows you how to engage in combat. Takes two. Yes! I am victorious, Actually, Jay! Jay, you're dead. Yeah. And then they get a fatigue because they watch the warlord die. <gasps> they watch the warlord die. They get yeah. a fatigue. I also get a fatigue because I engaged yeah. in combat. Right. Winner! That's it. That's all. That's your turn, man. Bam, bam. Okay, next turn. Turn five. Okay, turn five. I think it's... So now it's, it's five fixed. dice instead of six. I mean... You gonna call it, Jay? Yeah, I, th I think it's... it's a bit hey! Fun. Angry Joe victory! <laughs> I think that's it, man. Because... Uh, so I won the first game, you won the second, I won the third. Angry Joe wins the Super Bowl! Chad, go crazy with the emotes. Yeah. Fuck, man. I think I found my faction. Yeah, Anglo Danes, I boy. Like I don't like that faction. You don't like that faction? That's all the more reason to pick them. Yeah. Angry Joson. Joe Joson. Man, that was a lot of fun, dude. Look, when yeah, I was I, losing against you last I, week, I still had a lot of fun. I, now, when I win, I have even more fun <laughs> on top of the fun I was already having. And those I still got are, a unit of fresh. Are, Bowen, ready to fucking... Yeah, they, but they didn't do nothing. Because of the fog, man. That shit. fog really screwed me. So, actually, I was at a disadvantage from the beginning, and I still won. I yeah. feel like these guys are strong. You I played them very well. Yeah, you did. You played them mm -hmm. perfectly. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. Oh, my God. Well, hopefully you guys uh, in, enjoy that. It's a victory for the Anglo-Danes. Just for some history, the last match we did, it was I was using the Norse Gale versus yep. the Irish. I lost. 
Um, and then our first game ever, it was the Anglo-Saxons as me yeah. versus the Irish again. Yeah. Uh, and I won. So uh, J won uh, in bolt action. I won in Saga. And there will be many more to come. Yes. However, J is actually uh, going to... I am going to be at Adepticon tomorrow. Doing what? So I'll be uh, running the, the Bolt Action Singles Tournament out there and then working in the Warlord uh, Games booth, uh, s pushing the product. So if you're going out to – where? what city is that? That's in uh, Schaumburg, in, in, uh, right below Chicago. So I'm so suburb, jealous of you in that Chicago. area because uh, if you're out there, go see yeah. Jay. Hopefully I'll have this video up on the Angry Joe Show channel by then so it's that get the message out there. Go visit Warlord. Tell them Angry Joe. Tell them Joe and Jay sent you. Yeah. And the Angry because we want to build up our show. Get these companies to know that we are showing off their games, guys. Yeah. And these are so, so fun. Yeah. There's going to be all sorts of miniatures at Adepticon. That's so all it is, is miniatures. Hell yeah, got man. A little bit of I think I'm going next year, then. That's nothing but miniatures. It's the biggest miniature um, uh, convention, I think, in, in at least the United States, if not. In Any new stuff world. coming out? Tons. Of, that's where all the new stuff comes out. So right. there's going to be tons of new new games, um, new product, new new things to um. see. Um, a lot of uh, the 40K uh, mm. or the War Games Workshop uh, oh preview yeah. show is going to be Thursday night. Nice. I'll be more, in there. More. I'll be in there and checking it out. More good. Yeah, we got a ton of Warhammer stuff yeah. we still got to get to. Yep. So uh, just again, um, this is a bat ass game, a five out of five yeah. star. Just to reiterate this, uh, you know, so I think same thing with bowl action. I still want to play a few more games of bowl action. These are top fucking 10 games easily, perhaps top five. Yeah. So uh, if you're looking to get into either, uh, uh, you know, some kind of tabletop game, take a look at uh, at, at Saga because this was, was freaking awesome. Super it's fun. very easy to get into. Cheap. Not a lot of stuff to buy. Not yeah. a lot of stuff to buy. The armies are relatively, you know, uh, manageable. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you all so much. And we will see you tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye. Later.